Basically, we're sitting up in the mountains at the top of American Fork Canyon. It's so peaceful. Just listen. Oh, here comes a car. Well, we're looking for something to do while we're up here, and we figured this would be a great time to answer the questions that you guys posed to us on our on our last video. This one comes from Ashley Jennifer. She's been following us for a long time and I appreciate when she comments. What was your first impression of each other? Oh man, that's easy. When I saw her, I saw her back end. <laughs> first time I saw her, I saw her butt. And that was my first impression and I was like, oh dang, I gotta get to know this girl. Yeah? Yeah, I could get to know this girl. What was your first impression of me? My first impression of you was that you seem like you were just a really like cool guy. And Isn't that so funny? I am being shallow because I'm a guy. I notice physical features. She notices. Well, character. you were in your work clothes. He was in like just shorts, like kind of. They're probably a little dirty, maybe. No, I was in my pants that had holes. On. Oh yeah, and a polo shirt and just like kind of grungy and a dirty work cap on. But I saw the potential in him. I saw, I was looking at the face and saw a really, really cute smile and twinkle in his eye. And his personality was just, he was, you know, he was cool and just very, very charming in a sly way. He knew the right things to say. And I won her heart. And yeah, even though he wasn't dressed to his, to his full potential, he looked great. Okay, this one's coming from Haley Rose. Haley? Meet Haley. You guys even spell your names the same. Her question is, how and where did you guys first meet? That kind of goes into what we were talking about with our first impression. I was at work and I needed to go get some hats because I had long hair. I was going through a rough time in my life. And I went into where she worked at PacSun. I went into where she worked at PacSun and squirrel. <laughs> and uh, that's, where, that's where we met and I actually um, started flirting with her, asked her, asked her some questions because I thought she was gorgeous. And when I went to check out, I actually left. I didn't dare get her number, I blissed out. But five minutes, like the second I walked out of the building, I was like, I'm going back. I am going back, I'm not missing this opportunity. I'm gonna get her number. So I actually went back to my car, put on the new hat, walked straight into there, and I walked right, in, right into the door and she saw me. I didn't know this at the time, but she put her head down and I went straight up to her. And then she, she like acted surprised and I was like, hey, and she goes, oh, hey. And I was like, I couldn't leave without seeing if you could give your number out at work. She's like, of course I can. And gave me a little smile and I was like, hold on, wait, before you give me your number, what's your name? And so I got her name and shook her hand and then. And then you told me that you loved my name because it was your little sister's name and you had named your little sister. And then I told you that I loved your name. I always loved the name Tyson. And that's when sparks flew. Yeah. Something clicked that Fun day. Name. Something clicked that day. And so it's been history ever since. Now we're married. Okay. <laughs> this one comes from, I'm sorry if I say this wrong, Bet Zeta Hernandez. When are y'all going to have a baby? That's a great question. I feel like a lot of people ask us that all the time. Especially where we're from, you're usually weird if you don't have a baby after the first year or two of marriage. And you know, I'm 24, Tyson's just about yeah. to be 26 next week. Yeah. And people think that, you know, we should have like at least four kids by now. Yeah, that's crazy talk. We love each other and we want to enjoy each other as a couple before we have to really put our lives into a child. I'm gonna be so stoked when we have a kid. Yeah, don't get us wrong. We are so, so excited. I to have love a baby. kids. We are kid people, but we want to be married for a, a while before we start having kids. So we don't have a definite time. Honestly, if we accidentally had a baby, we wouldn't care. But if we had like a, if we had like a time, we'd say in a maybe year, for sure a year, and maybe farther. It really depends on where we're at in our life. And right now, it could even be two years away. But before I'm 30, that's for sure. I'm 26 gonna be 26 in a couple of days yeah and she's 24 and so we got we got a lot of time so we're gonna wait on the kids but I know 
you're not the only one that's wondering that. This one comes from Thomas Borg, Borge, or Borg. Seems like you guys are doing pretty good financially. What do you do for work? Well, Thomas, I'm not a big fan of talking about money, but I will absolutely answer your question. So I'm a nurse. I work in the emergency department and I absolutely love it. I am very passionate about making videos and now I actually just recently am now a part of Team Supertramp, which is uh, Devin Supertramp, Devin Graham. We do a lot of extreme videos, so that's what I do. I think the reason we're, we look like we're doing okay is because we are and that's because we manage our money and that's because I've learned a lot of lessons on how to manage money and not live paycheck to paycheck. It's all about how you manage it. No matter how much you're making, you manage it. Maybe one day I'll even talk about that because I think it's great advice for anyone to know. Yeah? Yeah, you've taught me a lot. Yeah, I taught her all kinds of stuff. So she lets me handle the finances, which is kind of weird. Most of the time the wife handles them, but I enjoy it. And so if we talk about it all the time. We communicate openly. I just spend and then oh, he does <laughs> She, she's actually really smart with her money and I totally trust her when she goes to the mall or whatever. <laughs> she knows it. She's trying to put on her front right now. But anyway, those are your questions. Thank you so much for asking. We love answering them. If you have more questions, maybe this will be like a Wednesday thing. We're still kind of figuring out this vlog thing as far as how much we're doing it. We've done it almost every, we did it all five days last week. We've done it every day except for today, which is Wednesday. and and it's mostly because we've been super busy so we're trying to do a lot because I enjoy it and I love doing it. We gotta, we need the support, we need people to share and like and comment because we want that engagement. Otherwise it's hard because you feel like, and I know I don't feel like this, but you feel like you're talking to a wall, you know, you wanna make sure I'm communicating with people and fans out there. We love you guys, thank you so much for following us and until next time, we will see you later. Peace. I'll let you slap the camera.